I started archery when I was uh, watching Olympics in the, in the TV first time, it was 1996. I said, okay, I have to try this sport and I started archery. First dream was to be Olympian, then I get it. I, had it. I was in Beijing as an archer, but it was too far for me. But when I started coaching, it was my uh, main goal to reach that uh, level to have the Olympic medalist. Then since 2013, we are working so hard, then finally we get it. Olympics is completely different. Actually, we are compete against the same archers. We are shooting same distance. We are shooting on same target face, and everything is same. Actually, only the place is different, and also the only thing that there are some rings around. But it becomes really important for everybody because only uh, one or two time you can do, you can shoot in front of that rings. When I see the meta up on the podium. Actually, I cannot describe, I cannot find the correct word to describe my emotions. I, it, until we, our motto was like, until it's done. Then when I saw him in the podium, I said, okay, it's done. Now next chapter. When you go into the shooting line, you don't want to be alone uh, because I, fe I felt it when I was archer. Sometimes I was uh, I was feeling so alone in the field, and it is it was scared me. Then uh, because of this experience, I always try to be with Mete or some, any other Turkish archer. I always try to support them. I cannot, he's so emotional guy, but mentally he always positive. He always think he can do whatever he wants. He always, he never say, oh, can I do that? Or can I try that? He always say, I can do that. Um, most of the time he thinking, I can do it better. This is sometimes doesn't work for us. At the beginning of the year in the Grand Prix in Antalya, he shot huge score in the qualification round, but next day he lost it the first round because of this over uh, self-confidence. He didn't, he didn't check the flags, he didn't check the weather, he didn't check anything. He just drove and shot, drove and execute. Then we lost at the end of the match. We sat down together and I told him, confidence is good, but sometimes it can be the uh, biggest enemy for us. We have to be careful. We have to find the optimum confidence. Then we were working on it uh, till the Olympic Games. I think his uh, positive mind made, made a difference between all other archers. As soon as uh, he released, I was now it was going to turn. Then just a couple of seconds ago, we, uh, from the all of everybody, we knew we were champion. Yeah, of course, it's very easy to say it now <laughs> after after he had it, but uh, honestly, I knew it when he when he released. I knew it. It's going to turn. But uh, we have this many time because we are doing. We spent too much time together. We shooting all the day together, and I watching him behind. Then I, I can know. I can. I can understand what he's gonna shoot. And in that point, I knew it. He gonna shoot the ten. In the in the plane when we were uh, flying back to Turkey, in the morning everybody was sleeping in the plane. Then uh, we just spoke. Something special I cannot explain here. I cannot tell you all the details, but I only I can say we cried together. We said we made it. I think the most important thing was before going to Olympics, we had expectations. This is very important. I think uh, anybody cannot say Mete's gold medal is a surprise in the Olympics. Everybody, of course, there was some favor. There was some more favor than Mete's in the field. There was really best archers in the field in the Tokyo. Uh, it was so difficult to win, but Mete's winning is not surprise. Everybody, nobody cannot say this. And this was my biggest success in my life, I think. 
I'm so proud because there is a, a obvious difference be between before the 2013 and after the 2013 in Turkish archery. We had only 45 international medals since 1991 to 2013. When we change our system, when we start this program in 2013, we won 201 medals. 200 first medal was Olympic gold. I, I just keep saying we will win the Olympics in the training or we will lose the Olympics in the training. We have to be careful on the training. We have to work strong in the training. I can say there's, there's now we have a system which is work, which is uh, produce an international medal for us. Of course, we need to improve it. We need to develop new systems. We need to find a way to make it better. I'm working on it. And because of this, I'm saying now we have a new chapter.